Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you save a document for the first time, you will use the Save As command so that you can choose where to save the file and what to name it. To do this, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Save As command in the command panel shown at the left side of the backstage view. To the right of the command panel, under the Places section, you will see the places that are available for you to save the file. These include your OneDrive folder for Microsoft user accounts and this PC for saving to your local computer. When you save to your OneDrive folder, the documents will be saved in the cloud and you can access them from any computer that you can access with your Microsoft user account. If you select the This PC choice, the file will be saved locally on the computer at which you are working or you can choose a network location. If you are signed into your computer using a Microsoft user account, then you can choose the OneDrive choice under the Places section to save to your OneDrive cloud storage account. After selecting this choice, you will see any recently selected OneDrive folders shown to the right. You can simply click a recently accessed folder to select it as the save location. At that point, a Save As dialog box will appear. If you have no folders listed to the right or you don't see the folder you need, note that you can click the Browse button to open a Save As dialog box where you can then select the desired folder within your OneDrive account to use for the save operation. Now alternately, you can choose to save the file to your computer versus your OneDrive. You may choose to do this if you are not signed in using a Microsoft user account or if you know that you will not need to access the file on any other computers. If this is the case, you can select the This PC Choice under the Places section. Just as when saving to OneDrive, you then select a recently used folder on your computer from the section to the right, or you can click the Browse button in order to open the Save As dialog box. After selecting a location to save the document file, the Save As dialog box appears. In this dialog box, enter a file name into the File Name field. File names should be short and descriptive. Word will not let you use the following symbols in the file name. The colon, the forward slash, the backslash, the greater than sign, the less than sign, the asterisk, double quotes, or the pipe symbol. Give the file a name that you will remember and be sure to remember to which folder you saved it. The latter step is often more crucial. People will often remember what they called a file but can't remember into which folder they saved it. Once you've entered the file name and noted the save location, click the Save button within the Save As dialog box to finish saving the file. Once you've named the file and saved it, its name will appear within the title bar. After that, when you make changes in the future that you want to save, you can simply click the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar, or simply click the File tab in the ribbon and then click the Save command. You can also press Ctrl plus the S keys on your keyboard to save the document. You will not need to re-enter the file name and select a location. Word will save the changes automatically to the existing file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.